I would not invite Ray, uh, Catherine to my wedding. Uh, in, 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 in <laughs> I in, just wouldn't. In just in a million years. In a tent? You've <laughs> got to be kidding. Rachel Southwood says she's from Wedding Ideas magazine. Come on, you wouldn't stay in a tent oh, for someone's wedding. Absolutely not. I'd rather not go than camp. It's anywhere, <laughs> you basically. You come to my wedding if I was married. <laughs> don't, don't be so hasty. She hasn't told you how big the gift is yet. This is the thing, isn't it? It's the cost of gifts that seems to go up. And up it's and up. not just gifts. I mean, it all starts, obviously, with the hen and the stag do. More often than not, they're abroad or not at home. So that already your guests are spending well ahead of the wedding. Then you've got the day itself, obviously the gift beforehand, but you've also got accommodation on the day, childcare if you've got children and they're not invited to the wedding. Oh, the, the costs just keep building. Then you've got drinks on the day, you've got your outfits, you've got your transport, you've got even got parking if it's a city centre um, ceremony that's happening. It's so. quite daunting, isn't it? What, what if you think, look, I'd lo really love to go to this wedding, these are really good friends, but I just can't afford to go, it's too much. What can you do instead? Well, I think the bride and groom have got an obligation towards their guests to um, make sure that things, there's lots of budget options for their guests. So for example, to negotiate with the venue, the accommodation options, so that there's local places to stay that from a range of different prices. And also just to make sure that, you know, I mean, free bars and things like that, they seem to be drifting out. And so people are having to spend rounds of drinks at a time. And it, this just didn't happen. It's happening more and more frequently. But you have to think about your guests when it comes to planning your wedding. Perhaps you could offer a skill. You could offer to host the wedding, be Toastmaster. I could bake cakes. That'd be a happy day, wouldn't it? <laughs> I could bake cakes. Perhaps offer something like that. Do you think that's a bit I, it's odd? The, it's, no, not at all. I think bringing your skill or your craft to a wedding is a really good idea as a guest. You can contribute in lots of different ways. If you've got a big garden full of flowers, for example, you can offer those up. If you've got a really nice car, then you know, offer to transport some of the guests around. Somebody to look after the oldies. Somebody to bake cake that you, know, you can send out afterwards. There are lots of different ways to get involved with the wedding and that doesn't have to be just purely financial gift. Can I raise the very naughty question of the wedding list and the gift list because lots of people think that you're being sort of shoehorned into buying very expensive presents but then if you don't buy what's on the list bride and groom end up with something they don't want. Mm. Well, Some old piece of rubbish. Modern wedding lists actually are moving away from that traditional sort of um, home-based products and, and towards contributing towards people's honeymoon, for example, or even straightforward cash. And Ugh. there is a reluctance, a real reluctance of guests to do this because it's, well, I see it as begging, really, basically. But the honeymoon thing's a good idea. You know, help somebody to, to go on their travels. and that, it, It's a good way of doing it. So you don't like cash? No, I don't like the idea of cash. Peter, so where, where do you stand on the whole cash thing? Would you have had cash at your wedding? I wouldn't have minded, actually. Well, no one would mind. <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure. Rachel, thank you so much. Some interesting tips. I'm glad you're not camping. You're in, in that same camp as me. Oh, no. <laughs> Peter, thank you thank as well. You. Yeah, and uh, we're not going to be spending any time in a tent over the weekend, no. but we are back here on Monday.